go. All right, you wanna make your gum Arabic at least 24 hours ahead of when you're going to actually need it. I bought this off of Amazon. They have several different brands. We just went with food grade, it's all fine. The picture on the front looks like crystals, but it's actually powdered. And the ratio doesn't need to be exact, but we're gonna go, ballpark is gonna be about three ounces of warm water. Tap water is fine. And then uh, approximately two tablespoons of powdered gum. Cover this back up and then stir that up. It's going to clump a little bit, not the end of the world. Stir that up. And it doesn't even have to all be dissolved. And it is gonna clump and just look horrible. It's okay. Do that. And then, whoop, shop towel, clean that up. Cover it and put it in the fridge for overnight. By tomorrow, you'll be ready to give it a stir and it will be ready to go. You want it to feel kind of not real thin. Doesn't need to be as thick as honey. Little bit, a little bit of body to it. You just don't want it to feel like water. All right, you can always add a little bit more gum if you need or a little bit more water. It's like a cereal and milk thing. But that by tomorrow will be a lovely golden color. And once it is mixed, it will look Like that, can you see that? And that, it has a little bit of body to it, just a little bit, yeah. So still pretty liquidy, but, but it's got a little bit of a sticky to it. All right, and that could be even a little bit thicker. I wouldn't make it much looser, okay? And as it ages in the fridge, it'll, and you use it, it will get a little bit thicker. That's fine. If it starts to get too thick, you add a little bit more water to it and it'll be fine. Um, you'll know when it's gone bad, it will have a definite sour smell. That's why you wanna keep it covered and keep it in a refrigerator, labeled as gum, so your roommates do not help themselves to it. And that's how you're going to make your gum Arabic.